Welcome to our lesson on finding the volume of a cone. So we're going to use this formula here to work out the volume of these two cones. So we know the height is this length as it makes a perpendicular angle to the base. So the height is 8 centimeters and the radius is given here which is 5 centimeters. So we'll put these two values into our formula. So the volume is one third of pi multiplied by the radius, which is 5 squared, multiplied by the perpendicular height of 8. So we'll work out 5 squared times 8, which is 25 times 8, which is 200. So the volume is 1 third of pi multiplied by 200. And we can write this as a fraction, which is 200 pi divided by 3 centimeters cubed. We can approximate this as a decimal, which is approximately 209 centimeters cubed to three significant figures. Okay, let's move on to the blue cone. So now the radius is again five centimeters, but here we have a slanted length, which is not the perpendicular height. The perpendicular height is this length here. And we can model this as a right angle triangle, when this is your right angle. So we can draw this over here. The perpendicular height is what we're trying to find. We know the base is the radius, which is five centimeters, and the hypotenuse, which is opposite the right angle, is 13. And Pythagoras' theorem tells us that h squared plus five squared is equal to 13 squared. So h squared will equal 13 squared minus five squared. So h squared will equal 144. We can take the square root of both sides, and these will cancel. So the perpendicular height is 12 centimeters. So now we can use these values to work out the volume, which is one third of pi multiplied by the radius, which is five squared multiplied by the perpendicular height of 12. I can simplify this by writing out a fraction, which is 25 pi times 12 over three. I did this because I can simplify this fraction by dividing the numerator and denominator by three. So these will cancel. So I'm left with 25 pi multiplied by four. 25 times four is 100. So the volume of the multiple of pi is 100 pi centimeters cubed. And as a decimal, this is approximately 314 centimeters cubed to three significant figures. Okay. Let's try some more questions. So do you want to try and work out the volume of a pink cone? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So we know the perpendicular height is nine centimeters. The radius is half a diameter, so that'll be six centimeters. The volume is pi r squared multiplied by the height divided by three. The radius is six centimeters, so it is pi times 36 times nine over three. I can simplify this fraction, divide both by three. These will cancel. Nine divided by three will make three. So I'm left with pi times 36 times three, which is 108 pi centimeters cubed. And at the decimal, this is approximately 339 centimeters cubed to three significant figures. And finally, for our composite shape, we'll work out the volume of a cone, which we'll sketch separately. The length of the slant is 15 centimeters. So we need to work out the perpendicular height. We can do that using a right angle triangle. When this is 15, this length is half of the diameter, which is five. So we can use Pythagoras' theorem to work out this length, which will be the square root of 15 squared minus five squared, approximately 14.1. So we can work out the volume of a cone as pi r squared, pi times five squared, times the height of 14.1, divided by three. We can put this into a calculator and we get approximately 370 centimeters cubed. And the volume of the cylinder, well, we'll work out the area of the cross section, which
to the circle, where the radius is again 5, and the area is pi r squared, which is 25 pi. We'll multiply it by the depth of 4, which is 100 pi, which is approximately 314 centimeters cubed. So the total surface area will be the sum of the cone and the cylinder, so this will be approximately 684 centimeters cubed. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.